Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Vamusati. Today we'll see one of the important feature in Snowflake that is, okay, so trailing comma, a new feature has been introduced by Snowflake that is trailing comma. We'll see what this exactly it means. Okay, this is Oracle database. I'm trying to compare with Snowflake. See, I created one table, okay, in a similar fashion, inserting two records. Okay, by using select statement, I am trying to fetch the record, select star from employee okay so star is nothing but it's a projection operator it's projecting all the columns and all the records okay see now if i want only the specific columns okay how will write like generally will write like this okay see employee id okay see employee name i'll explain what's the functionality they introduced okay so put an element employee id employee name similar fashion i want to get salary column Okay, similar fashion, I get, so department ID, okay. Now, suppose like requirement is that what, okay, see, I don't want this department ID, okay. So, if I comment like this, what happened? So, generally, we'll write like this, okay, see, comma, like first column, second column, comma, okay. Suppose if I don't want department ID, I'll put like this. But see what happened, it will throwing error because now what happened again, I should, okay, so remove this value. Suppose like what happened, I don't want this column anymore. Again, what I commenting this thing, okay. But again, what I, so this is the things, okay. So this feature has been introduced by Snowflake to avoid this type of issues, okay. So let me show you in Snowflake, you'll get some clarity. Okay, this is in Snowflake database. Okay, same thing. Now I'm trying to insert two records. Okay, now I'm trying to set, okay, by using select star from, it is projecting all the columns and all the records. Okay, now see, suppose like I want only employee ID. Okay, employee name. Okay, see the difference? Okay, just now discuss now. Employee name, same thing, salary, same thing, department ID. Okay, now see, so four columns are there. Suppose like what happened, I'm selecting like this, okay. Suppose see, I'm putting, hyphen hyphen okay earlier in oracle database what it is trigger now see here what happened so this is nothing but trailing commas okay so by suppose like if you want to do any testing we don't want some columns we can able to come in like this okay suppose like i don't want this column so we can able to come in and we can able to make it working got the point see here comma is there so it is working okay so this is nothing but trailing comma introduced by snowflake so when you're writing like this okay so like this pattern okay so employee ID comma column name comma okay hope this is clear if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.